Jesus turned it on. Let, 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 let me try to move for cause of uh, thank you, God. But as I humbly set the metaphorical premise for the spirit application of this sermon in your hearing today, in keeping in line with our theme of the month, spiritually navigating your life. Uh, with the textual scripture coming from uh, John 16 and verse 13. However, when he, the, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truths, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Uh, but I would like to start by asking a question, is there anybody in here like me? Uh, you have done some things uh, that wasn't, didn't go right. Uh, you made some mistakes. You made some turns that you shouldn't have made. Well, am I talking to the real folk today? But thanks be to God, I got good news. Uh, because we serve a God of turnaround. And he's in the turnaround business. Uh, God is able to give us, thank you Lord, some victories even after we have made some mistakes. Thank you, Jesus. I told you on last week that God's spiritual GPS has the ability to get us back on track. Uh, if we, thank you Lord, would connect to the divine signal. And follow the instruction. Truly the Lord is good. Now church, I don't mean any harm, but the natural GPS of uh, when we make a wrong turn, uh, it has to recalibrate uh, to get us back on track. Uh, but I want you to know that God's Holy Spirit doesn't have to recalibrate. Oh, y'all rest for a little while. Because he is omniscient. All-knowing, all and seize, thank you, Lord, every position. Oh, y'all very slow. I didn't tell you where I didn't move. Uh, Genesis 50 and 20 is taken from the story of Joseph. Uh, when his jealous brothers sold him into slavery to the Egyptians uh, to serve in the house of Potiphar. Uh, thank you, Lord. But it also shows and tells that he had divine favor with God. Uh, how God used some of the most difficult times in his life uh, to put him in a position to save the lives of his family and others during a time of great famine throughout the land. How Joseph's relationship with God, uh, that, uh, thank you Lord, that he realized although that I didn't fully understand God, why are you allowing these, thank you Lord, unpleasant things to happen to him. Uh, but in the end, God revealed he had a plan and a divine purpose for his life. Uh, thank you, Lord. And I want you to understand when Job comprehend God's plan and purpose, uh, he was able to say to his brothers who wronged him, you meant it to hurt me. But God turned your evil into good to save the lives of many people, yes. which is being done. Yes. Truly, the Lord is good. Yes. Now, church, I, I don't mean no harm. We got words for a little while. I'm trying to get on out of your way. Although this is a wonderful story, uh, but as I make my proposition, I would like to talk more about the story of Job. Uh, because I believe that it really lets us know and reveal how God can, thank you, Lord, turn a situation, no matter how difficult it is, God still has the power, thank you, Lord, to turn it around. Uh, well, can we talk a little bit about it and we're going to try to do it? Well, in chapter 1 of the book of Job, it indicates, thank you, Lord, that Job was a man who tried to live right and do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
He was, it describes him as being a righteous man, being upright. A one, thank you, Lord, that he was a blameless person. Oh, thank you, Lord. He avoided evil. Uh, he made sacrifices uh, to keep himself in good standard with God. As a result, church, I want you to understand by doing, trying to do the best to do right. God blessed him with a big house. Oh, uh, God, thank you, Lord. He was, thank you, Lord, very prosperous. Oh, he was considered as a monthly millionaire. Oh, y'all rest a little while. Somebody said, can you tell me why? Well, because he had cattle and he had donkeys and he had sheep and, and he had cows. He was a man with one wife and ten children. Seven sons and three daughters. He had servants and maids to help, thank you, Lord, keep everything in order. Y'all grab some little while. I don't mean no harm, y'all look a little strange, but grab some little while. I want you to know that Job's financial uh, for polio, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, uh, for, uh, thank you, Lord that his financial status uh, was extremely well. Ah, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, he was in good health. Uh, so he tried to live right and do the right thing. Uh, but even though trying to do everything right, all of a sudden, everything went wrong. Uh, now rest for a little while. Uh, I, I got to let you understand that Job, uh, not knowing that God had met Satan, and uh, thank you, Lord, it has said that thank you, Lord, was going as he was going to and fro, up and walking up and down in the earth. Uh, the Lord said unto Satan, Has thy considered my servant Job? For there is none like him. Oh, you know, that's something God can brag on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The truly God is good. And those are familiar with the story knows that Satan challenged God. Well, the reason why Job attempts to live righteous before you is because you have a hedge around him, around his house, around everything he has. But this is what my challenge. But remove the hedge and let me touch all that he has. And he will curse thee to thy face. Oh, y'all bear us for a little while. And so he found in Job 1 and 12, and the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in thy hand power. Uh, only upon himself put not thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Now let's look at, a, thank you, Lord, a change of events. Well, now we found now Job lost all of his children. He lost all of his livestock. Uh, he went from prosperity to property. Uh, thank you, Lord. Truly, God is good. But we found, according to the scripture, Job still did not curse God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to try to move. Uh, thank you, Lord. And we found, thank you, Lord, in verse 21 and 22, it gives us confirmation that Job held his integrity. For it says, he began to say it this way. He said, Naked came I into out of my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. Uh, the Lord and you gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And in all this, Job sinned not, or charge not charge God foolishly. Truth the Lord is good, and his mercies endure forever. And then, then y'all got to bear with us a little while, and then here he comes again. Then Satan presents himself again before the Lord, and God again asks Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Uh, in other words, all that you have done. Uh, thank you, Lord. He's still yet holding. Uh, thank you, Lord. Fast to his integrity. Although you move me to move against him, to destroy him without a cause. Oh, truly the Lord is good. Yeah. Then in Job chapter 2, it's beginning at verse 4 to 6, Satan again says, tells the Lord, skin for skin, all that a man has will he give for his life. 
but put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. Yes. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand. Only spare his life. Well, y'all bear us for a little while. Now, we got to look now that Job went from good health to bad health. Uh, he had sores from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. Oh, thank you, Lord. And on top of all of that, church, I don't mean no harm, but thank you, Lord, his marriage became miserable. Uh, his wife started talking foolish. Uh, for we found, thank you, Lord, beginning at verse 9, she began to say, and it said, his wife said unto him, do thou still regain, thank you, Lord, retain thy integrity? Curse God and die. And he said unto her, thy speaker as one of a foolish woman speaker. Well, uh, thank you, Lord, say, shall we receive good by the hand of the Lord and shall not receive evil? And thank you, Lord, in all this, Job did not, thank you, Lord, sin with his lips. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? But I need you to do me a favor and say, neighbor, amen. just not yet. Just not yet. Yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, amen. truly the Lord is good. Uh, now here is a man who tried to live right and do everything right, but seem like everything now is going wrong for him. Uh, thank you, Lord. Now, I don't mean no harm. If you don't remember a whole lot out of this sermon on today, there's one thing that I want you to remember. I want you to remember, according to the word of God, to the book of Job, that bad things can happen to good people. He should not be shocked uh, when negative and bad things happen. Neither should we be surprised when we go through tribulation because bad things certainly, thank you, Lord, happens to good people. Uh, oh, thank you, Lord. But what I like about it, when God allows the bad thing to come, God has a plan for a divine turnaround. Uh, to the Lord is good. I, I need to move. Uh, my, thank you, Lord. More than likely, I'm preaching today to some people, thank you, Lord, who are trying and trying to do and have tried to do the right thing. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, it, 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 thank you, Lord. It does not mean that you are perfect uh, and have never made a mistake. But at least you tried. Anybody here tried to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you gave your life to Jesus Christ. You united with a local church. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the men. You you stopped trying to be Mr. Plain. Uh, trying to get all the women you could. Uh, for the women, you stopped trying to be Sister Fine Playlet. Uh, trying to entice all the men you can. But you decided, I want to be in a relationship that is pure. The Lord is good and His mercies endure forever. You try to go to work and, and uh, thank you, Lord, and not cheat and manipulate people and use people. Uh, you try to do the right thing, uh, oh, but if the truth be told, seem like things still is going wrong. I'm not talking to anybody here today. Oh, I know what I'm saying. You start to be finding, thank you, Lord, after all you're trying to do, do right. Then you start having issues with your relationship that you wanted to last forever. Then there become fractions in your friendship that you would never thought of. Oh, God bless for a little while. Then all of a sudden you start having heartbreak from your child or your children that you never thought you would. Oh, God bless for a little while. And then on top of all of that, then sickness will invade, invade your body. Would have an effect on your home. Oh, God bless for a little while. Uh, if we really, thank you, Lord, want to turn around uh, when things are going bad, and we don't want to, thank you, Lord, be sunk lower into despair and hopelessness, do me a favor and say, neighbor, be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you listen 
to them. Consider this, if you will. First, let's consider the advice from Job's wife. Uh, you see, things had gotten so bad for Job that his own wife, thank the Lord, told him, curse God and die. Uh, thank the Lord. Uh, it is interesting that when you are going through problems, everyone seemed to have something to say about what you're going through. Uh, Y'all look a little strange. Uh, perhaps Job's wife was telling him, listen. Because of my emotional state of losing everything, whatever God is doing to you is affecting me. Our marriage is all messed up. We've lost all of our children. You're sick. Oh, y'all bears full of lies. But truly the Lord is good and sick me. Things look horrible, including all. It's time for you to curse God and die. How hurtful could it get when the love of your life, the one who promised to love you and to be with you in sickness and in health, uh, for better or for worse. Oh, thank you, Lord. Truly, the Lord is good. Then now they are giving you, advising you, it's time for you to curse God and die. In other words, I'm sick of this. I'm just keeping it real. But I want to encourage somebody today uh, that whatever you're going through, I want you to know that it took, thank you, Lord, uh, like some type of change or turn of events yes. to get, thank you, Lord, you in that situation. Yes. And it's going to take a turnaround yes. or change to get you out of that situation. Yes. Uh, truly, the Lord is good. Uh, you have to be like Job in the first initial stages who resolved in his spirit, uh, thank you, Lord, and said, all the days of my appointed time, I'm going to wait till my change comes. Oh, why? Wow. I'm going to wait because the God has given and the Lord has taken away what blessed be the name of the Lord. So the Lord is good. Second, uh, the accusations, accusations from Job's three friends. See, you got to understand, not, uh, thank the Lord, was just Job's wife Thank you, Lord, doing some talking. But he had three so-called friends uh, who showed up in his suffering. And uh, they told Job, can I tell it the way I feel? Because you know how people do. Uh, listen, something is going wrong here. You must have sinned somewhere. Perhaps they told Job, they said to him, you must have some secret sins. Oh, thank, thank you, Lord. Uh, because God wouldn't let all of this calamity come upon you unless you've done something wrong. Uh, maybe, Job, have you been playing holy in front of us? But living ungodly behind the scenes? Oh, y'all let me understand. I'm just keeping it real. Uh, have you been showing up and making in the holy places, making and giving sacrifices? Uh, but thank you, Lord. But in private places, uh, you 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 been sinning when we wasn't around. Y'all let me understand. Truly, God is good. Uh, they were telling Job, the reason you're going through all you're going through is because God is punishing you for your sins. I don't mean no harm, church, but isn't it interesting that, you know, that most folk can't figure out what God's doing in their own life. But when you start going through some trouble, tell you what God's doing in your life. These 
these type of friends believed that Job was suffering because he had sinned. Uh, they believed that all suffering came as a result of sin. But I submit and declare unto you today uh, that these friends were wrong in this part. In this part. Oh, God bless for the divine. Uh, I want you also to understand if we sin, we will suffer. But all suffering is not a result of sin. God bless for the divine. And God bless for a little while. Uh, we can, thank you, Lord, be minding our own business. Uh, trying to make sure, thank you, Lord, we're doing the best we can to live in the will of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. And yet sufferings will still come. Somebody missed it. Because Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you'll reign with me. Yeah, yeah, the Lord is good. I'm trying to move. Yeah, I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. Uh, yeah, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we, thank you, can suffer without sinning. But this seemed to be the problem that Job's friends couldn't get out of their mind. Job, you just had to do something. Uh, I don't even know how we, we got some of them still today. Trying to figure out why you going through all you going through. Yeah. That's right. I know what I'm saying is true. Yeah, yeah. God knows why He allows. Oh, thank you, Lord, yeah. us to go through suffering. He knows whether it's sin or whether it's a test. Yeah. Uh, I need to move. I need to move. True to the Lord is good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So now, since He's being, now we're looking at Job's friend. He's already down. He's already going through. Amen. Done lost everything. Uh, and now he's sick. And his friends now, they, thank you, Lord, they're trying thank you, to bring confusion. And they are abusing. And uh, thank you, Lord. And they are accusing Job of being ungodly and ungodly behavior. Yes. Uh, can I share something with you? I, I'm going to try to move. You know, people, they like talking about other folks. Oh. You know, people, you know, they be lying and digging up dirt. You know, word, give me the juicy stuff. I know what I'm saying is true. Yeah, yeah. I made this, I made this, this, this thing, I'm going to say it again. It's not going to happen because, because like Sister Jean told me, uh, you ain't crazy. <laughs> Now I'm still saying it. that's how people do. I'm just only using this as a metaphor. Now, uh, it, you know, the Lord can be blessed and, 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 and that, in that setting and in and that manner. But if, if I would have a crazy moment and go over there and slap Sister Jean, Let's 
consider Job's negative talking to himself and to God. Bad advice from his wife, accusations from his three friends was not all the talking that was going on. Job began to do some talking himself. Can I talk about it? I don't know. Things had gotten so bad in Job's life that he started questioning God. Uh, thank you, Lord. And, and y'all look a little strange, but I know all of us can identify with that. Don't, 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 try, don't try to act like we ain't in no place. This stuff is going kind of wrong. And God, you say, God, what? Stuff begins to be so bad and so difficult in life. Thank you, Lord. You feel like saying, God, I need to talk to you in my office. There's some stuff we need to talk about. I'm just keeping it real. See, that's the problem with church folk. They don't act like they stay holy 24-7. But we war. There's a war going on. The flesh and the spirit. And when, thank you, Lord, the flesh overrides the spirit. Yeah, we'll get to talking to you. Amen. Amen. See, in other words, Joe was saying, if I could just find God, uh, I have some questions for him. Uh, you you got to understand, look at what's happening with Job and also with us. Now being little finite creatures, trying to argue with an infinite God. I don't mean no harm. We got to be careful. Uh, trying to argue with God. Oh, he has the power to cut the argument off. So when you study and read the story of Job, it appears Job is saying, if I could find God, uh, if he would just show up, uh, he hasn't been around in all my pain. Uh, thank you, Lord. I, I got some questions. Uh, uh, is if God was hiding himself? Uh, oh, thank you, Lord. Truly, the Lord is good. Uh, but let me be absolutely clear today. There is nothing wrong with questioning God. Even Jesus, the Son of the Living God, while dying all on the cross of Calvary, asked his Father, God, my God, my God, why has thy forsaken me? Uh, and if we tell the truth, all of us at some point or another have questioned God. Why do we question God? We question God when it seemed like that, thank you, Lord, that you, the people that who are trying to do right, everything is going wrong. And people who are doing wrong seem like everything is going right. Oh, I know what I'm saying is true. David had that. He wanted to know, but God, but God said, David, fret not thyself because of evil good, for they shall soon be cut off. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to move. I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to get you. Uh, something, uh, it looks like it's good. It's always happening to bad people. Wow, those of us who are trying to do the best we can, you know, to live right, and do right, treat people right. Oh, y'all look at the little screen. Seem like some stuff just started happening. And we want to ask God, why? Oh, y'all better ask for a little while. See, church, you got to understand as you read the story of Job, the issue wasn't the question. Uh, see, the issue wasn't the fact of questioning God. Uh, but thank you, Lord, the problem was his disposition. Why he questioned God was wrong. I, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm glad that the Lord hadn't turned me up yet. Because this is the part right here that we really need to get as confessing believers. I, I don't know if I'm going to holler for us all. But, 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 but we need to get this, we need to get this uh, uh, understanding. Uh, see, 
Uh, it, it is one thing to ask the question, but it's another thing that, to be nasty, unkind, and cruel for this disposition while you're asking the question. Uh, uh, it, it's one thing to approach God in humbleness, but it's another thing to approach God with the wrong attitude. Some folk kind of wondering why you're not getting your blessing. Y'all give, give, give me a little while. I'm going to try to address that. Y'all, can I, can I address it? But God placed it in my spirit. Yeah. Well, I want you to understand. Thank you, Lord. See, Job's first question to God was, why has God given me life only to send me through such suffering? Uh, you got to understand that this is the language of a natural man in rebellion against his maker. Yeah. Contending with God Almighty, man seems to try to instruct God yeah. how you want it and we want it to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. We got to understand now we see that Job curses his past. Yeah. He condemns his presence. Yeah. And feels there is no hope for the future. Yes. Consider, thank you, Lord, what Job says in chapter 3. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Verse 3. And I want to share with you what he says. I can't, we don't have time, but I want to let you know the state that Job was in. Job says, Let the day perish within I was born. And the night in which it was said, there is a man child conceived. Because thy shut not up the door of my mother's womb, yeah. uh, nor hid the sorrow from my eyes. Why die I not from my mother's womb? Why did I not give up the doors when I came out of bed? Here is a person now. Because he's been a suffering so long. Yes. Uh -huh. He allowed his emotions to question. Isn't it amazing? And he was an upright man. I told you he was considered a multi-millionaire. All that stuff. Now, cause he's going through. Uh -huh. It's like all the years that you blessed me with my children and you blessed me to live like a rich person. All of that you've done, but now, why did you let me live? Oh, Go see, ahead, y'all give me a little spring. You tell it. You tell it. I'm getting ready now to get, get into the part why how it identifies with us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I don't mean no harm. I want you to know, sadly, many confessing believers have the wrong attitude. Some still come to church. Some still sing on the choir. Give their money. Uh, but in the inside, they still harsh and mean. Some are even evil. Hard to get along with. Why? Because on the inside, they really got an attitude toward God. Oh. Yeah. Most people who are negative, that's why they say cruel stuff. Because they're trying to build up their own self-esteem. I feel better if I can tear you down. Oh, I know what I'm saying is true. It makes me feel better to, put, to pick out and give you all of your infractions and all of everything that's wrong with you. Because when I start doing that, it makes me feel better. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm saying is true. Uh, they need a divine turnaround. But they keep allowing the enemy of the soul to keep them so frustrated because of their inability to change or, thank you, Lord, to achieve something until even when they pray, they pray a prayer of frustration.
confusion and dis desperation. Yeah. Yeah. And not a prayer of faith. Do me a favor, say neighbor. neighbor. It's tight. It's tight. But it's right. it's right. When we pray, we must pray in faith. Yeah. I'm talking about the type of faith that Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. I'm talking about the kind of faith, thank you, Lord, that Elijah had when he prayed, and the forces of heaven. Yes. Shut up. Stop giving rain for three and a half years. I'm talking about the kind of faith he prayed again and the faucet came back on. I'm talking about the kind of faith that Jesus talked about. The kind, thank you, Lord, if we have as a grain of a mustard seed, we can say to the mountain, be thou removed, and it will move. Truly the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Oh, I'm feeling much better because God is good. I'm talking about the kind of faith, thank you Lord, that Jesus talked about, thank you Lord, that when he prayed to the Father, it even raised the dead. Oh, y'all better ask a little about it. Truly God is good. I don't mean no harm, but we got to understand that the enemy of the soul tries to keep us from praying the prayer of faith. Oh, uh, thank you, Lord. The enemy does not care if we come to church. He don't care if we sing in the choir, if we teach, preach, or work in ministry. He doesn't care, thank you, Lord. The only thing he don't want us to do is to pray, thank you, Lord, in faith. Oh, thank you, God, because he knows that we're doing all We get so busy getting up in the morning, trying to go to work, that we don't even thank God for keeping us all night long. Thank you, Lord. We get up and we start rushing to put our clothes on and to get a little something to eat until we don't even thank God. The one who provided the food and the clothes. Oh, y'all better for a little while. The enemy gets us complaining while driving to work. While we're on the way going to work, we're complaining about the work, complaining about the job, complaining about everything. And don't thank God and say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for providing a way to make it come. Still praying and they believing and they trusting God and they're praying in faith and they're gonna pray, pray till something, till something happens. I'm gonna pray till I get a spirit of divine turnaround. The Lord is blessing. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, I feel all right. Down my heart. I need to quit, y'all. But I'm feeling good now. For the God I serve is a good God. I want you to know that Satan is a liar. I want you to know God has promised I will. Quit, y'all. 
but God is good. Ha, can I let you know? Ha, I need to quit. Ha, can I give you? Ha, thank you, Lord. Ha, just one more story right quick. Ha, Cause I want to let you know. Ha, when you want to turn around, ha, Jesus ha, will turn it around. Ha, how do you know? Ha, well, I heard ha, that I heard that ha, Jesus ha, was a making his way ha, out of Jericho. And as he was going, ha, a great month or two ha, was all around him. And ha, on the side of the road ha, was blind Barnabas. Thank you, Lord. And he heard the great commotion. What's going on? Somebody said, Jesus is passing through. And then you are passing through. He cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. I want you to know when you call him and we we'll call him the son of David, he was recognizing that he was the Messiah. But the crowd did not church for him. You make it too much noise. You make it too much noise. This is my time.
were disastrous, ha, wrong, ha, and bad for Job, ha, because God ha, had a plan ha, and a purpose ha, to prove his loyalty. Ha. God gave him ha, a divine ha, turnaround ha, and gave him double ha, for all his trouble. It does not matter what you're going through. 